Okay, how's it guys? Welcome back to another in-session video. So today, um, I don't have time for a full day session. Um, I had to spend some time with the family and go to an early morning CrossFit class and everything. So I decided to do a quick poll on Instagram on my storyline where I gave my followers the options between two venues. I didn't mention the venue, um, just basically posted two pics side by side with carp from either venue. And yeah, and venue A was Kloofsig Lodge and then venue B was Gnu Valley Farm. So that's the venue that won. Um, I'm driving there now, hoping that there are swims available. Uh, Gnu Valley Farm is a very difficult uh, venue, lots of weeds and grass and stuff. Um, every time I fished there, I had all my bites in the margin. Um, water is very clear, you can actually see the fish take your rig. I must say that's very, very <laughs> exciting. Um, yeah, I'll, I do have some footage available or well footage left from a session I did there last year I'll share it with you as well if I can find it, but yeah, so on my way to Gnu Valley Farm um, Hoping hoping that there's space. Um, there's not a lot of swims available if you want to do carp fishing But yeah, i um, gonna visit the venue have a walk around see how it looks and then hopefully there's space available If there's not then it's off to the other venue but yeah, hoping Gnu Valley has some space. So next time you see me, I'll show you around at Gnu Valley Farm. Okay guys, so um, I just got here to Gnu Valley Farm. Now I told you about the weed in this venue. And yeah, um, when I got to the gate, the guy stopped me and they said, okay, listen, yeah, they've got extreme weed problems at this stage. They started cleaning out the other dams, but this is the only one that holds carp. So yeah, you can see, I usually fish here in the margins. There's a lot of open spots in the margins, but sure. Um, if you hook something and it's gonna swim into those weeds, it's gonna be trouble. So yeah, this is the area I usually like to fish. Um, it's all the way to the left. Um, yeah, but I think this weed is just, it's horrible. I don't see how I'm gonna be able to fish this. Uh, the, oh, the open spots are there, but if a carp swims into that, in that weed that's going to be horrible um so yeah i'm going to walk to the other side and see how it looks over there but you can see yeah um even that little duck there is struggling to swim through it so yeah um it's still a nice venue nice clean safe uh all that stuff uh, it's very popular with the bass guys and so on but yeah i don't think i'm gonna fish this but yeah okay i'm gonna walk to the other side and we'll have a look there as well Okay, so here's the other side of the dam. Um, weed is just as horrible. And the thing with this venue is the carp, because there's always so much weed, the carp have, it's almost like channels that they swim through, through all the weed. And I can't see how they get, gonna get close to the margin here in any case, not of all this weed. Now it's a bit more open there to the middle, but also I don't wanna cast over all of this weed. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna struggle with this. Um, yeah, so, and I know that inner parts, the more to the middle of the dam, it's also, it's quite deep. And the weed here is usually on a good day, it's all the way from the bottom to the top. So yeah, um, let's walk to the other part as well. Uh, this is not what I was hoping to see. Um, I've heard of some nice carp in here, I've caught some nice one as well. There's some nice koi in here as well. Last time, the last sessions I did last year and so on, there were seven koi that I could count that you could see. But yeah, I don't think they're going to come out today uh, with this water and weed and stuff. But yeah, um, here's the other corner. Um, also a nice little corner, the inlet here. So I found the koi, or the carp rather, a few times here, uh, just hanging around here at the inlet. So yeah, but as you can see, this is a bit horrible. Um, there's no way that I'm going to be able to fish this. I'm going to try and see if I can show you guys the weed so that you can get an idea. But it's a bit far down. So, no, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I don't want to fall in just for the sake of showing you guys weed. So, so yeah. So, thank you for the guys that voted. But uh, I don't think the winner is going to be the one I'm going to fish today. today. Okay, so yeah, like I showed you guys just now, um, I'm not going to be able to fish this venue. This weed is just too, it's, it's hectic. Um, yeah, I'd like to see anyone try and fish within this weed. 
and get a fish out so yeah i'm not keen to struggle like this um so yeah but i was actually looking forward to fishing it again it's been over a year since i last fished it fished it so yeah ach, but okay let's carry on uh, up. let's continue to the next venue okay as i was walking back to my car i saw the one of the koi that i've know that's around you guys can see it there so they are in the margins um yeah but like i said i don't know if i must fish this um if they go through those weeds yeah i'm gonna struggle really really struggle there it just went underneath the weeds so they do come through underneath the weeds so yeah i think what i'll maybe do is because now i'm doubting myself should i move or should i not should i go to the next venue or not um yeah i think i'm gonna throw a lead and see how bad this weed is but it is thick it's it, there's lots of weed okay let's see what i can do Okay, so you just saw that test I did with my lead just to see how bad it is and it's very bad. Uh, yeah, there's no way you're getting a fish through there. So yeah, I just spoke to the guy that works here and he also told me that they're starting to clean this one next week and it should be done by end of February. So yeah, um, I think I'll be back then. So yeah, now it's off to Kloofsig. Um I hope there's a swim available. But yeah, let's see. Luckily it's close by. It's like, I think it's about five, seven minutes from here. Okay, let's go to closer. Okay, so finally at Kloofsig. Um Just quickly got my margin rod out. I'm gonna put the other one out against those reeds again. Um, and then I'm going to do it with something I made, so I'm going to test it now. I <laughs> hope it works. But I basically made myself a baiting pole from PVC conduit pipes, 20 mil conduit pipes, with a pool noodle and a bottle, a water bottle. So I'm going to try and use that to put out my rod against the reeds. Um, it's a lot of fizzing there as well, and uh, I'm going to try not to spook the fish away. So yeah, I made myself a baiting pole. I'm going to try and film it and hopefully it works this is going to be my maiden test on it so yeah let's see
Okay, there you have it. So rods are out, uh, one year in the margin, not too far off. And then use that baiting pole that I made. Works pr pretty well, so I'm very chuffed with it. Yeah, um, I've got the option to extend it. It's only 10 meters long now, um, but I can extend it very easily. So yeah, I'll make some extra poles if I want to go further out. But I'm happy with the spot where it is. That's more or less where I saw some fizzing going on. There was also a fish that jumped there as soon as I got here. So yeah, um, holding thumbs. Let's see what happens. Okay, quick update of what's going on so far. Rods have been in for just over an hour now. Uh, had a few bleeps on both rods, but most of the activity has been on my right hand rod where I can see bubbles coming up where the bait is, also some swirling and every now and then a small little splash. So they're definitely in there feeding and uh, now they just need to suck up that hook bait of mine. So the bait that out, that's out is a uh, pineapple banana boil again topped with the pineapple uh, pop-up from MCT. So yeah, um, optimistic about it. But it's very hot again today. Just to give you an idea, um, both my cameras have given me warning signals of overheating. So switching between cameras every now and then. Um, yeah, I am, I am in the shelter, cameras in the shelter as well. But yeah, it's still very hot. But yeah, hoping for the best. Okay, so sorry, me again. Uh, just, just as I put the phone down from recording that previous clip, my left hand rod, um, the bobbin slightly lifted and went down again. Uh, thought it was a take, but it wasn't. So yeah, but w walk closer to the rod to look around the corner and I can also see lots of bubbles and stuff coming up there and swirls. So yeah, um, <laughs> so far I'm optimistic. I um, hope this session doesn't end in a blank, but, but yeah. Uh, even a double take would be nice, but that would put me in lots of trouble because this left hand rod, if I don't take it quick, yeah, it goes directly to those reeds and it gets snagged. So yeah, let's see what happens. Like I said, that margin rod, I was very optimistic with that rod, with all the activity going on. And yeah, and I think maybe 10 minutes after I took that clip where I told you guys about the activity, it went off. Um, not the biggest one, but yeah, I really, <laughs> I really don't care. I'm catching, I broke the blank. So yeah, there it is. Nice little common. Took off like a rocket, you'll see in the clip, or I uh, guess you saw it. So yeah, very happy with this. Um, fell to the pineapple banana, uh, boily topped with the pineapple banana, um, or the pineapple pop-up from MCT or Monster Carp Tackle. So yeah, happy days. Um, yeah, so we've got a few hours left. Oh, it's a lively one, this. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna put it back and let's hope for another one. I've got about, I think, three, four hours left in this session. So yeah, happy, blank broken. Here we go again. 
I forgot to mention something when I got here at Kloofsig. Um Driving here, I thought, well, it being one of my campaign venues, I'm going to try another spot that I like. Um, but when I came here, I saw there's a guy fishing there already. Um, but as I walked by, we greeted each other and asked how the day was going and so on. And, and he immediately asked me, so you're going to your regular spot? And I'm like, how do you know what my spot is? And I was a bit baffled, but we continued talking and so on. And then he mentioned, you know, he saw my videos on YouTube and that's how he uh, basically came on the venue. So yeah, he's been here since this morning and he's been doing well. I think he's at fish number four or five now. So that spot also producing nice. So yeah, that's one thing that I actually like. Um, it's not necessarily the fact that you know, I walk somewhere and people say, oh, there's the guy from Carp Adventures or something like that. But it's uh, introducing guys to other venues um, and then them catching as well. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, I know a lot of guys say, oh, you shouldn't share your venues and it's going to become overfished and stuff like that. But uh, I don't care. Most of the venues that I know about, I learned from other people and had success there. So if I can, con can contribute to someone else's success and them having fun fishing, why not? So yeah. Um, he's now on a catch there, so struggling a bit. I think he's a bit snagged, but otherwise, yeah, he's doing good. So, yeah, awesome. I had lots of experience when I got here, but yeah, so I just need to have got what? 45 minutes here. Oh, there you go. Is it on now? Now it's just aligned to them. <laughs> Is it now? Not a back pose. Oh. Oh. oh, there you go. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well done. Thanks, man. I'll leave you to it. Thanks, appreciate it. I'm looking forward to this video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. This one's taking lots of flying. see this is a lively one came off that margin rod again that right hand rod yeah it's been jumping everywhere doesn't want to lie still even while it was still in the net so yeah um came in the margin rod the right hand rod wasn't too sure if it was a bite um i was speaking to that guy i told you about earlier that's a fan of the channel yeah he just wanted to come say bye and yeah, wasn't too sure if it was a bite, thought it was just a liner. Um, yeah, and then all of a sudden it took off. It's a bit bigger than the previous one. It feels a bit heavier as well. So yeah, very happy with myself. Nice color to the tail. Um, also fell to that pineapple banana setup I have on the snowman. Yeah, um, I think the carp here just like the, they like the sweet or the fruity tastes and flavors. Left hand rod has been out on Robin Red the whole day from NTT, uh, nothing yet on that rod. But yeah, I'm very happy with myself. Yeah, nice tail, nice color, nice big mouth. Yeah, very happy. 
Nice one. Let's quickly look at the other side of it and then I'll put it back. Oh, come here, pull me so. Oh. Okay, okay. Musnit, we just musnit on the kind face. There we go. Other side of it. Yeah, nice crop. Okay, let's put it back. That's the session done. Uh, it was nice and fun. So the two for the day. I'm very happy with myself. It's much better than blanking like the previous two sessions. So yeah, um, the session started out with that, like I said in the beginning, that Instagram poll. Okay, so I couldn't go to Canoe Valley, the one that won, but then ended up at Kloos, Kloosig, uh, which was venue A. Uh, same swims as the previous two sessions. Um, fishing more or less the same tactics margin rod keeps on producing so yeah it's actually a nice blank saver as well so yeah but I'm happy with that at least I'm catching um, yes I know I still need to hunt the bigger ones in here Ach, but so far I'm happy at the end of the day I'm catching and I'm outside doing what I love so yeah again thanks for watching again if you come across this video please subscribe hit that notification button Really appreciate it. Cheers. Just one. Forgot one last thing. You know what's nice when you drive home in your car after a fishing session, and that's if you have all your stuff in your car, is that smell of freshly caught carp. <laughs> if you leave it too long, it stinks like hell, but yeah, when you drive home before you pack out, it's a smell of success. Cheers.